Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to install Kali Linux on Mac OS using VirtualBox 6.1. Kali Linux is a Debian derived Linux distribution designed for digital forensics and penetration testing. In this video you are required to have downloaded and installed VirtualBox on Mac OS. First open your favorite browser. Then go to google.com. In Google search box type Kali Linux. Then click the Kali Linux link. Kali Linux is an open source, Debian based Linux distribution geared towards various information security tasks, such as penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. To download the Kali Linux ISO, click the download menu. The download page of Kali Linux offers various types of images like bare metal, virtual machines, ARM, mobile, cloud, containers, live boot, WSL or you can also go through a build script. Because I will install Kali Linux on VirtualBox from scratch so I choose bare metal one. On bare metal there are three types of installers, namely 64-bit, 32-bit, and Apple M1. Because I want to install 64-bit so I downloaded the 64-bit installer. And to download the ISO image I choose via torrent. Because the download speed on torrents is faster than downloading directly via the browser. Wait until the Kali Linux torrent file download process is complete. Double click on torrent file to download Kali Linux ISO image via torrent client. And specify where to save the Kali Linux ISO. Here I choose the desktop to save the ISO Kali Linux. Then click OK to start downloading the Kali Linux ISO image. Kali Linux ISO download process is in progress, just wait until the Kali Linux ISO download process is complete. Kali Linux ISO download process is complete then close views torrent client. Now open VirtualBox. To create a virtual machine click the new button. Then name the virtual machine, because I installed Kali Linux so I named the virtual machine Kali Linux. As you can see in the type and version section it fills in automatically. In the version section you can change it to Debian 64-bit or Ubuntu 64-bit. Then click the continue button. And now we get to choose our memory size. So is the physical RAM memory that's going to be allocated by our virtual machine. I'd go ahead and give 8 GB or half of the physical RAM. Then click the continue button. Now we need to add a virtual hard disk to the new machine. So I select create virtual hard disk now then click create button. Next we can choose the type of hard disk file. Hard disk file type I choose the default VDI virtual disk image. Then click the continue button. Here we can choose the type of disk we want to create. Dynamically allocated storage disk or fixed size storage disk. Because the virtual machine will not take up unnecessary space on your system unless it is required by the virtual machine. So it can grow by itself until a certain limit. So I'm going to use that. Then click the continue button. To install Kali Linux requires a minimum of 40 GB of hard disk space. So I set the hard disk size to 40 GB. Then click the create button. Before we start up the machine let's go into settings and just change a couple things here. First in the general menu click the advanced tab. Here you can see two drop-downs named Shared Clipboard and Drag and Drop. 
Select each drop-down menu and choose the bidirectional option to enable the machine's clipboard sharing and drag-drop features. Now click on the System tab. In the boot order uncheck Floppy. Now go to Processor tab and I will allocate my two CPU cores to Virtual Machine. Now go to Display tab and on Video Memory set the size to maximum. Now go to the Storage tab. Under Controller IDE click Empty. Click the Disk CD icon then click Choose a Disk File. Then go to the folder where you saved the Kali Linux ISO. Select the Kali Linux ISO then click the Open button. Now go to Ports tab. Click on the USB tab and select USB 3.0 XHCI controller. Then go to the Shared Folders tab. Click the plus icon to add a new shared folder. Select the folder path drop down and choose Other. Choose the folder you want to share and click Select Folder. Then click the Open button. Also select Auto Mount. Then click OK button. Click the OK button again. Now start Virtual Machine and you just hit the Start button. As you can see we need to grant access to VirtualBox. So click on Open System Preferences. To unlock click on the padlock icon in the lower left corner. Enter your Mac admin password then click on unlock button. Click check on virtual box. Then click the quit and reopen button. Now close the security and privacy window. Click the open system preferences button again. To unlock click on the padlock icon in the lower left corner. Enter your Mac admin password then click on unlock button. Click check on virtual box. Now close the security and privacy window. Now hit enter to start the Kali Linux installation process in virtual box. Now here you have to select the preferred language you want for your system. Then click the Continue button. Now select your location. Then click the Continue button. Now here you have to configure your locales. Then click the Continue button. Now here you have to select your default keyboard layout. Then click the Continue button. It detects the installation media and loads additional components. Now here you have to enter the host name for the system. Or you can also leave it by default. Then click the continue button. Here if you want to enter your domain name, otherwise leave it empty. Then click the continue button. Here you can set full name for your account username. Then click the continue button. Now here set up a username for your account. Then click the continue button. Now set up a strong password for your Kali Linux user. Then click the continue button. Now select your time zone. Then click the continue button. Now the installer is in the process of detecting the hard disk. Here in the disk partition window I select guided use entire disk. Because the hard drive used is still empty so it doesn't matter if it is used all for Kali Linux. Then click the continue button. Now select the hard disk to be used to install Kali Linux. Then click the continue button. Here select all files in one partition recommended for new users. Then click the continue button. Here select Finish Partitioning and Write Changes to Disk. Then click the Continue button. Here verify the partition information and select Yes option. Then click the Continue button. 
Now your base system is installing in your system. Now here you have to select the options like which desktop environment you want. The default desktop environment is XFC, so I will use the default settings. Then click the continue button. Wait for the Kali Linux installation process to complete. Now here we need to install the grub bootloader, select yes to install the grub bootloader. Then click the continue button. Now select the hard disk where the grub bootloader is installed. Then click the continue button. Wait for the grub bootloader installation process and the finishing installation process to complete. Now the installation process of Kali Linux on VirtualBox is complete. Click the continue button to restart the system. Click OK button to grant VirtualBox microphone access. Now enter your username and password to log into the system. Then click the login button. Now I have successfully logged into the Kali Linux system. Now I will try to change to full screen mode. To change to full screen mode click the view menu and then click full screen mode. Or it could be by pressing the command plus F key. As you can see full screen mode works normally without needing to install VirtualBox guest editions. So that's it, if this video is useful don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions just comment down below. See you in the next video.